serait, selon les médias britanniques, le prochain phénomène du jazz. Il est un excellent chanteur, un excellent pianiste. Rod Stewart dit qu'il est « fucking amazing ». Bon, ça, je ne vais pas traduire. Il nous offre des standards revisités ou ses propres compos. Il s'appelle Anthony Strong. C'est pour vous. You take a lot of standards and you revisit them. Yes. Your style. Where do you get that inspiration from? It's very difficult. It's a delicate exercise that you seem to do with perfection. Oh, thank you very much. I mean, most of the arrangements that I that I write are, are, are just in here. Someone asked me this the other day in a radio interview. It's not hours of up being up at night writing scores and charts. It's an idea. It's like a spark uh, of, of imagination, I suppose. And uh, and then really, it just flows. Anthony Strong s'est fait remarquer en France en 2012 suite à un passage au Grand Rex en première partie de BB King, rien que ça. C'est en janvier qu'il s'est fait signer avec un label français qui s'appelle Naïve. Et là, il vient tout juste de sortir un album extraordinaire qui s'appelle Stepping Out. C'est la classe. You're obviously a big fan of the standards, but when you do your own songs, yes. where do you get your inspiration from that? I guess from the standards, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the American Songbook. Um, those uh, Cole Porter, George Gershwin standards. That, that's you know, those are the songs that I first started playing when I got into jazz, and they're the songs that I'm going to die playing. I think <laughs> I love those tunes, and so the, the challenge for me is to try and. Uh, sort of uh, craft, sort of pop my songs in between the others and hope that they fit in okay and they don't stand out. And uh, I love pop music and I love jazz and gospel music. So it's it's kind of sometimes it's a challenge with the more poppier stuff to try and get it to blend with these standards. How would you qualify your music or a jazz musician? But there's also a poppy feel to things as well. Yeah. It's a real mix, my music. It's jazz based, but there's a lot of pop music and there's a lot of gospel music, a lot of uh, soul. And so it's, it's, a, it's a real blend. But for me, the important thing is to have good, authentic music that's, that's yeah, real, solid. solid music, and have a great time. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I believe you went to a super music school in London. Um, your background is very musical, I guess. My mother is tone deaf, so she can't sing a note, but she's very energetic and very sort of like extrovert. And my dad is quite shy, but very musical. So I've kind of got a nice blend of, of, the, of the two of them. You know, my, my mother's extrovertness and my dad's musical ability, I, I like to think. Everything's going well for you and I, I hope it continues that way. And it's lovely to meet you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Anthony Strong, retenez bien ce nom, c'est un gentleman crooner et une future grande star du jazz. <laughs>